Hello friends, I'm Oom and today we're going to dive in the fantastic world of Linux after a long time. And today we'll customize GNOME 47 or 48 like this. Now I know it is minimal, sleek and elegant, not that much customized. So let's get started, shall we? So here we are on the desktop of GNOME 47 and for that I'm using Fedora. Now you might be thinking why Fedora, why not any other operating system or Linux distro which is based on GNOME. Well the answer is simple. Fedora gives the most purest vanilla GNOME experience. It gives the whole operating system with the native real GNOME desktop environment out of the box. So let's get started, shall we? Now, I've linked three files in the description and there's another file which we'll have to download, which we'll do later. But for now, let's just apply the wallpaper first. Set as background, set and here we are. This actually looks gorgeous. You see, I found it, you know, I found this wallpaper in our last previous video about Opera Air, but sadly Opera Air is not supported on Linux. But I get, you know, I got an idea. Why not deliver an Opera Air web browser like experience? Like the whole design and theme and layout was, I was feeling like that is possible here on Linux. And that is why here I am. Now I extract the two files. There we are. Now we're going to install them one by one. Well, the installation is pretty simple. When you get into Orcus Theme Master, right click, open in terminal or console, and you just have to type dot slash install dot sh dash l. Dash l means it's also going to install it as libite vita, which is, you know, the renderer, the window manager. I don't know what it is, but yeah, most of the GNOME applications are now based on libite vita, which is literally amazing. Now let's go to the icon pack. Here you just have to right click on install.sh and run as a program. That'll do all the things by itself. And while it's doing this, let me just install the third thing which I said was important. And that is the cursor. Now you have a lot of options, but I believe this one which actually steals my heart. And that is Bipata cursor. Just go there, go to the GitHub, Scroll down, scroll down, and there it is. Just copy the command here. Control C, and let's just open terminal. Paste, enter. Now yes, and it's done. Now it's time to do the installation. Just paste the command, the second one, enter, and we're good to go. Well, it's it's gonna take some time to install the packages. Not the packages, the files of Bibata cursor theme. And while it does that, let's just go and install some extensions which are important. Go to extensions.gnome.org. All the links are in the description, don't worry. Now open user themes, enable it. Now search for blur my shell. Go, enable. Now go to the settings directly from here or you can go it from the install extensions. Go to the panel and disable it, alright. Or else it's gonna look really bad. Now. Now, according to your preference, you can install a dash to dock or dash to panel. For example, if you go to dash to dock, now dash to dock is actually good, but I don't prefer it. I like the original dash, you see. I don't want applications show all the time like macOS. I like it here. And that is why I will not go for dash to dock. Now let's leave that. Let's leave that as well. So how far we are? Click yes. And now the installation is in progress. You see, that's the thing I love about Linux. You can do all sort of work just from a single terminal. Yes, and complete it. And now all the installation is done. It's time to apply the things, tweaks, all that stuff. Go to tweaks. All right, well, another thing. If you don't have GNOME tweaks, just install sudo dnf or apt install GNOME tweaks enter and it is done now let's say if you were on an ubuntu based distribution then just type apt and you'll be good to go now as you can see there are a few themes which are already applied by itself but let's just complete the process all right go to bibata modernize this is what i was talking about go to icons go to tela circle i'm going for the light one go to shell orcus light that's what I'm talking about. Well, the real Orcus also looks good. Go to legacy application and choose Orcus 
Orcus light whatever. You see, Orcus also looks good in some places. Well, it's applied here as well. But I'm going for Orcus light. You know, a proper pure light variant. And now we are done. And here we are completed. Done with the customization. Now you might be wondering like, why am I so minimal at this thing? I could have gone way too far because Linux has unlimited potential in terms of customization. But I like it just like this. Easy, simple and minimal, I'd say. But just for your sake, let's just go a little far. No, I'll not. 